This is your Feel Good Breakfast or Expresso on SABC3. Now, the next person is one of our firm favourites here on your Feel Good Breakfast show. Named after the Zulu queen who was King Shaka's mother, Nandi Madira's love for her African heritage has been evident throughout her career. The world stood to attention when she poured that energy into portraying Nala in the recently critically acclaimed visual album Black is King. And now she's ready to take over the world. Nandi joins us now via video call in one of her first interviews since the release of Black is King as today she releases her latest single which is a tribute to African women's bodies called Organic and trust us it is a banger we're loving it Nandi it is so good to see you how are you this morning hello I'm so good you know it's always an honor to speak to you because you're the best of the best when it comes to television so <laughs> thank you and it's always good being on the show I'm honored likewise I now, told you that before so you know I'm, I, not, I know, I'm I know. not just doing it for TV I know yeah. I know and I really do appreciate it every single time it never gets old now listen we don't even know <laughs> where to really begin congratulating you because I mean it's clearly not spring season it's it's Nandi season right now okay uh, so let's take it <laughs> chronologically uh, black is king right how did this amazing opportunity to work alongside Beyonce come about for you and what does it feel like being part of this actual standout moment in black appreciation sure it's I mean what a time to be alive truly um, in my case it was they had a whole lot of actors that really wanted to be a part of this incredible story but I know that Beyonce um, as everyone had told me was adamant on having me which is, sounds crazy, wow. I'm Black as King. Um, you know, I was the one, one of the few characters that she really like knew from the onset that she wanted me. And of course then, you know, they, they checked if obviously I was able to, to do what they needed in terms of the character and playing Nala. You have to understand Nala is the role that Beyonce did the voice to for The Lion King. So this was very dear to her heart. So the fact that she chose me was um, just incredible. And she's the sweetest, most humble human being ever. And working with her and seeing her work ethic um, was something that I'll always treasure. And yeah, they're just, what a beautiful time. And so much has happened from there. So much that you guys are gonna see just from a global perspective, in fact. I'm very it, sure just, of that. But tell me about the excitement when you got that call. I mean, you must have been bursting at the seams when they said this to you. Was it an immediate yes or was it, hold on, let me think about it <laughs> kind of situation? Yeah, 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 it was. It was, a, it was a hold on moment and it was like, but, you know, no, um, of course it wasn't. Uh, this is Beyonce you're speaking of. But I know it was very confidential for a very long time. So it was more of, uh, we need to do, to, to do a couple of things, um, to try and some stuff, to, we, we want to see if you can do, you know, this character and portray this character. Um, before they mentioned who it was, and they were like, listen, you, you don't want to miss out on this. You yeah, know? yeah, of course. Think of the biggest star in the whole world. And I just thought, and it, funny enough, as soon as they said that, I just thought, Beyonce, yeah. there's no one bigger. So I was like, actually, um, yeah. Tell me this, in, in your preparation um, of the character of Nala, she is a pivotal character in the story of the Lion King. Mm -hmm. You know, she helps Simba come out of that darkness that he was in to assume his rightful place as the king of Pride Rock. Um, did you discover anything new, perhaps a new appreciation for the character of Nala while you were preparing yourself for, for this uh, part of it? I think if anything, um, it was just so beautiful to to understand that I still have that nurturing spirit in me mm. that I, I've had to tap in during motherhood and mm -hmm. used a lot of that, you know, especially with method acting. And it came at such a good time because essentially Nala is the nurturer. So when I was younger, I just loved her for, you know, everyone loves Nala. But just in terms of portraying such a role at, at this time was crucial for me and very beneficial because becoming a mother, you understand what it means to be a nurturer, to love and to support. Um, so that became easier playing that almost comforting role for Simba. Yeah. And so I enjoyed that whole experience, yeah. Wonderful. Now, since that has happened, it's been about a month since Black is King was released. Have you gotten any new opportunities Opportunities. What's been happening in your world since then? Wow, have I? Um, yeah. Just, I mean, obviously, unfortunately, I can't speak of the opportunities yet, but Ooh. trust me, you guys will be very excited. A lot of big opportunities. You know me, I don't like speaking um, before things happen, but in incredible opportunities. Um, and it comes at the right time when, as well as music, I'm dropping this new single. So it's just an exciting time, but a lot of 
global, beautiful, fruitful opportunities, and I'm so excited. Yeah, and let's talk about the music as well, because it's been success on top of that success, and then more, because you and KO then win a 2020 South African Music Award for Collaboration of the Year for Say You Will, your yeah. first summer. Congratulations on that. Thank you so much. I must, I must be honest. I honestly feel like I'm in a dream and someone's going to, well, it's a bit of a nightmare as well because this year, you know, COVID-19, but someone's going to pinch me and say, none of this happened. There was no pandemic. You didn't do anything with Beyonce. You didn't win a song with KO. Like, <laughs> wake up. You don't have a single. You didn't get signs. So, so it's just been very surreal um, and an out-of-body experience. Um, what an honor to work with such a great guy um, like KO. That's my brother, man. And yeah. to, to get a song up for that, incredible especially when i wasn't expecting it as well um certainly truly humbling and it comes at the right time again because i'll be dropping my single so it's almost like a you know like reaffirmation that you're on the right path this is where you should be going and uh, was was great for my personal self-esteem yeah you know um it was a good boost yeah i appreciate it so much and appreciate everyone who voted thank you thank you thank you guys well Nani, don't go too far away because we're going to continue our chat very shortly it's been very very exciting catching up with you and looking forward to more